An unbelievable story of survival. Wow, a man fishing off Dauphin Island goes overboard. His boat, still in drive, just ditches him in the middle of the Mississippi Sound. But it's what he did next that kept him alive. Mm. Our Shelby Myers in studio with us now on this miracle story. And Shelby, new tonight, you've got video of the minutes after Kevin Olmstead was rescued. Yeah, Byron and Lenise, I just got permission to use this video. Kevin Olmstead wasn't quite ready to go on camera and tell his story, but he did give me permission also to share it with you. And let me tell you, it is truly unbelievable. This is the end of a grueling day for Kevin Olmstead, rescued by boat after 10 hours of treading water in the middle of the Mississippi Sound, literally fighting to survive. Olmstead says it all started after a morning of fishing when he was packing up to leave Dolphin Island's West End Saturday around 10 a.m. He decided to grab his life jacket because the water was getting choppy. Olmstead tells me he thought he put his boat in neutral so he undid the kill switch and was turning around to reach for his life jacket when that rough water tipped him out of his boat. Before he knew it, the boat was gone and out of his reach, still in drive. Olmstead was in the middle of the Mississippi Sound with no life jacket. He says he instantly went into survival mode. He took off his shirt, tying up the sleeves to create some air bubbles for some tiny bit of buoyancy. Then he started treading water against the current for nearly 10 hours. His eyes focused on a nearby pylon in the intracoastal waterway. Once he made it there, he says hyperthermia was setting in. His hands and legs were convulsing uncontrollably but he was determined to hang on for his wife and children. Finally, after about 20 minutes of hanging on the pylon and just before the sun set, one of his fishing buddies who had joined in with rescue crews after his boat washed up in Bayou La Battery spotted him, bringing him to shore. That's where Olmstead could be seen on this video before being airlifted to the hospital for hyperthermia. Just an incredible story again. Now tonight, Olmstead is home and he says he's doing okay, trying to rest up. He says he is so thankful for all of the rescue crews and really just this community that instantly went to look for him when they recognized that was his boat. He also wanted to remind all boaters to make sure your boat is in neutral before you get out of that driver's seat and always have that life jacket super handy or even on you. Lanice.